week one pick ups. Football is back. The Goat House is back. Every single week, picking every single game, the best damn pick show on the planet. So I do it for, man. All right. What do it for? Tech. <laughs> 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 You guys are joining us every week for the picks, picking along. There's your leaderboard from last year. I'm going for the three peat like the Chiefs. How was your guys' off season? How you guys you guys feeling good? It's good to see you guys. Feeling good. I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling great. But now my Jillian Michaels workout tapes every morning, four thirty, eating my eggs, eating my oats, you know what I gotta do. Jillian Michaels. The eggs and oats. I'm dead you it sounds ridiculous. Do the eggs and oats go together? Uh the, yeah, they do. Yeah, not no, not like mixed together, but I have them together. Uh, no, but I actually do do the workout tapes. I put it on the screen. I mute it. I don't need to listen to her. Uh, and I do the do the workout tapes. I feel great. Well, okay. Uh, any other anything else for us? Uh, I mean, I'm all in on the Costco guys. All in on the Costco guys. All right, let's get into those picks. And we're in those picks. Oh, this is a good one. It's a good one, folks. Ravens at Chiefs to open it all up for all the marbles. It's not for all the marbles. Thursday but night. Thursday. Be. Thanks. You guys are really helping out, joining in here, mm -hmm. saying my lines. I like it. I, I like you. it. Ravens at Chiefs to open it all up. I mean, who we got? Who we going with? You know what? I think... Don't you dare, Pete. I know what Pete wants to do. Might be a little bold. I think the Chiefs are going to go to the Super Bowl again. Mm. Just, kidding. Just getting into that. No, I want the Chiefs here at home. I think they, You want them? Uh, yeah, I want them. They, uh, you know, they paid the price last year. They were all hyped up after their ceremony, and they they let that one get away from them against the Lions. I don't think they let that happen again here. Do they pay the troll toll? Did they pay the troll they, toll? Too? They definitely paid, 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 paid the toll there. All right, I'm taking the Chiefs as well. I think that uh -oh. I mean I I like if someone's gonna come in and kind of off the bat I think the Ravens are gonna kind of have a uh, I think like a different they're gonna run the same type of offense but I think they they've gotten better in what they're trying to do uh, but I still think the Chiefs got him here he's got the Chiefs I am I, I'm also going with the Chiefs I don't see them losing another home opener that crowd's gonna be crazy they got receivers now so that's obviously gives them like kind of a different factor to their game. Smash AP Ryan, they just added him. Will he be a factor right away? We'll see. But yeah, I mean, Ravens with Derrick Henry is going to be interesting. A pizza Derrick Henry guy. I don't know. Did, did you even mention yeah, that? Yeah, I didn't even mention. I have the shirt. I have the Mount Rushmore shirt on Derrick Henry's. He's right over here. Nice. Um, but no, he's right over here. I can't even see it right now. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see how he fits in with that Ravens offense because I don't know. I mean, he's more of a under center, you know. Get him going downhill before on, get him before going. Hand, yeah, before you hand the ball. Um, we'll see. It'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, it's a, definitely a heavyweight battle to start. Yeller is going with the Ravens. Wowzers. Old Yeller feeling Old the Yella. Ravens. And then the the winner of last season of the subscribers league is going. What was he going with? Chiefs. He Chiefs. said. Chiefs. He said he's taking two Larry Hags. He won the uh, paid or the prize league last year, and. Every single week, the winner of that that week will be on the next picks video. So he is starting here picking with us. If you want to join that, links in the comments. But he says he hates the Chiefs and he's picking the Chiefs. That's what he says. Can we clap it up for Larry? Just, he won last year and he's back. And he's back. All right, clap it up. So old Yeller is uh, lone dogging it over there with the Ravens. So that's that's nice. interesting. I could Only see it. Fitting. Nice. Only fitting. Nice. Old Yeller gets to the start first it off. One, yeah. yeah. All right. There you have it for the first for the first game. We got plenty more to go. Friday night, foot be in Brazil. The Packers in the Eagles the, in that stadium, if you didn't hear, soccer stadium, you're not allowed to wear green there. So the Eagles are wearing black and white, hence the logo is black and white, but the Packers are still wearing green, apparently. So huge balls on the Packers there. And for that reason, I am taking the big ball Packers. Uh, in, in that Friday night game, I do to break it down a little bit, like I do. I think it'll, I think it can go either way. The Eagles might be a little tougher to game plan for. Adding Saquon Barkley, you got to worry about the misdirection. You got to worry about Hurts running around. They are extremely talented on paper. They didn't really end that way last year, so I mean they didn't even feel like a playoff team. You know, they were in the playoffs, but they 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 feel they felt pretty bad at the end of last year. So I think they'll fix it this year, but does it get fixed right away? So those are some of the questions. I think the Packers will be very good this year. Um, I think they'll continue to grow as the year goes on as well. I think Jordan Love has a pretty decent day through the air. But both these teams, pretty complete rosters, got a lot of weapons. I'm feeling the Packers in this one. Big ball Packers is what I'm calling them for, for uh, Friday night. 
I'm taking the Eagles. I am taking the Eagles. I think that this is one of those weird ones. We always talk about like the London game. It's it's kind of up in the air. It has that. It's really not really the best team that wins. It's just. I mean, double whammy. In week one, anything can happen. And now you're in Brazil. Right. And the Eagles are wearing black and white. And the Packers are wearing green. I kind of like the black and white. I I think it looks cool. But the Packers got the balls here. This is a big reason I'm picking them. Yeah, but they not they might not all make it to <laughs> game time. <laughs> <laughs> they might not make it out of there. Because either. yeah, be, because they might not make it in there. Uh, I'm not worried about the out of there. I'm worried about the in. It's actually a good point. The crowd might be against them. Right. They might feel like home field advantage right. for the Eagles. That's right. Do I switch my pick? Oh, I'm going to keep it. I'm not a switcher type guy. I don't switch up. But uh, yeah, you guys have got me thinking over we here. Got, uh, I we don't got know. You. I was gonna go with the Packers here. I don't know. I'm so I'm just so conflicted. Come on I'm, in, Pete. The water's I'm, I'm gonna stick with the Packers though. I I just think um, they got rolling at the end of the year, like those young receivers, tight ends, tight um, ends. and and the Eagles. The secondary really struggled last year, but they do have some new pieces. Uh, but I think it's gonna take them a while to gel and get that thing going there. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the Packers here. So you don't think the Eagles are gelling right away? Not with all those, not with all those rookies back there. In the are secondary. you gelling? Oh, I'm gelling. Yeah, you wear those inserts in your shoes? <laughs> no, I used no? to actually. Yeah, I, that's why I asked because I knew you used to. Uh, Yeller, who's Yeller going with? Yeller's got those Eagles. Oh, he's gelling. He's he's definitely gelling. He's gelling. And Larry. Uh, Larry, winner of last year, he's got the Eagles. So we got uh, it's just me and Pete over I'm scared. there. Scared. Pretty good split between the Goat House fellas. Pretty you know two two. Possibly the game of the week. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be my ass beating and snot pounding the week. I don't think there is one. I definitely have a few squeakers coming. Mm. I don't know about you guys. I mean, you can only have one, but sure. Yeah, but I could. Sh- yeah, it's true. <laughs> true, it's true. <laughs> you got a couple coming true. up. I got a couple. I, all of the games are squeakers. <laughs> all of them. All right. There's nothing better, guys. There's nothing better oh, okay. than Sunday football. Steelers, Falcons to start us off. I mean, there's a bunch of 1 p.m. Eastern games, but you get the, you get what I'm trying to say. Steelers, Falcons. The Falcons got a better roster, but this could be a little sneaky. You know, it's a lot of new faces in Atlanta here, and, and you know, Pittsburgh. Will will they be gelling? Mm, will they be the, gelling? That's, that's the word. Of that's the, the word of the day. Of the day. Yeah. Uh, will they be gelling? We'll see the Steelers. You know, T.J. Watt's going to be getting after Kirk Cousins. He's fresh off tearing his Achilles. That's a tough guy to play against. You know, after after you're injured, Pete. Russ Wilson stinks. Yeah. Give me the Falcons. Yeah, They're going to be gelling all me, over them. Give me Kirko Bangs over here. Kirko Ooh. Bangs and the gelling Falcons. Well, Just feed Bijan. couple things here. Well, who's Yeller going with? He has the Falcons. Who is Larry? Of, speaking and, of and feed so does, me. So does Larry. I'm all in on the game. Costco guys. He, are you? Oh. I think you already. Yeah, you already mentioned that. But good to know. I'm still all in. On He's the all Costco in. Guys. All in. Pete didn't even. Pete doesn't even know who the Costco guys is. That's mind blowing. Uh, are who they are. <laughs> <laughs> who they is. I'm gonna stick to football from going forward from now on. Uh, who they is. Who they who is. They is. <laughs> uh, all right. So some couple factors here. Pete. Was all in on the Falcons last year, mm-hmm. but then he ended up pulling out. He said it. I did pull out. He pulled out of the Falcons last year, and now he is in. <laughs> and Junior was for now. For now, Pete's back in. He put. He's back in yep. for now. And then Junior was always out in the Falcons for so long. He last would, year I came back. You can I know you came back, but for both of you guys this to be is, picking the Falcons right now, that's telling me the Falcons are winning the football this is, game. This is interesting, though. I was just thinking about this. The reason why I was in on the Falcons was because Arthur Smith, and Arthur Smith <laughs> is the OC <laughs> oh, of, the, shit. of the Steelers Week One. Here, this is oh, gonna be. Pete. It's gonna be interesting. I just don't believe in Russ, though. Um, I don't know. They, the The Steelers usually usually have a lot of weapons too. I feel like they're lacking weapons this year. Get, getting rid of Deontay Johnson and um, I don't know. Roman Wilson doesn't sound like he's coming along too well so far. Yeah, I'm surprised about that. So, but uh, it's a guarantee for the Falcons. I, you know, anything can happen in this game. I think it's gonna be a close battle, physical battle, mm. physical. Uh, right, right away on week one here. Uh, the Falcons are the better team, and they're at home. But I think it could be. Cl- I'm, I got to go with the Falcons. This, every year in week one, there's random upsets, and it's like, and every year I'm like, pick more upsets in week one. I got a few, but pick more. This, this could, could be one. This I got could, a few in the but back every pocket. game. There, there's a few. I mean, there's more than a few. Every game, I'm like, oh, I could see it. It's, I got a feeling. I got a feeling we're gonna have a lot of the same. 
Upsets ready to go. And there's a lot of people watching <laughs> that are, you know that are probably like, "Where's the score prediction? Where's the picks against the spread?" That's my next video. I get after it. We got everything here at the Goat House. Don't worry. Uh, but on to the next game: Ooh. Cardinals and Bills. Cardinals have Kyler Kyler Murray. I know he's playing the Call of Duty beta right now. Is that going to be over by game? I think it's going to yeah, be over. Done this weekend. Ooh. Pre Black Ops release, I I mean that's a dangerous Kyler Murray, especially when he's got the bait on his a, pocket. But give me the Bills. We got completely sidetracked to what I was actually going to say, but it's okay. uh, <laughs> I it, I did it, I did it. But they have Kyler Murray playing Week One. Last year they didn't have that, and, and just in Marvin Harrison Jr. out there, it's a sneaky Cardinals team. The Bills don't have Matt Milano. He went down. He's going to be out for for quite a bit. Mm, Car- Cardinals could be sneaky in this one. Another one of those games. There's a lot of those, but I'm going to take the Bills. Uh, I-, I actually think we could have some scoring in this game. I think we'll have some scoring both sides. I'm going to trust Josh Allen, who is my MVP pick for this year, but that can go to a few different guys there. Uh, I'll-, I'll trust Josh Allen to get the job done. But will the- without Diggs, will those receivers click? I'm not really too worried about it, actually, but right away, will they click? Curtis Samuel dealing with a little will bit of gel? Turf-, turf toe. Turf toe. Uh, <laughs> They gotta be gelling. I think Dalton Kincaid. I think Dalton Kincaid is leading the Bills at receiving. Ooh, I like year. it. You like it? Yeah. Give me the Bills at home. home. Bills Mafia breaking I, some tables pregame. I just moved Junior for some reason, oh. and now Pete's blocking me. There we I go. mean, the graphics guy moved him. Um. Uh. And so is, is we, got a, we got a sweep here. S- clean guarantee. Go yeah, don't sweep. even watch it. Don't even watch the game. Unless you're a Bills fan. Or Cardinals, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Uh, that's two guarantees in a row. I don't think we're going to have many this week. I think there's a lot the of good Cardinals names. could we'll be see sneaky though. this year. It could be a little sneaky, a little sneaky. All right. We're, is that your claw? Is that the next game? Are you saying the Bears is next? Oh, oh it is next. How did you know that? How did you know? It's not even on our screen right now. The, it goes down the, the schedule. Same. The schedule makers, they, they must watch the Goat House. Obviously, they do. It's the best pick show. In the uh, planet. In, on the planet. I is mean, it in or on? <laughs> it, what did I say? Are we in is, it? Or the it? Costco guys is? What did I say? Something stupid. Uh, so don't ask me. Is. Pete doesn't know who they is. Uh, but they knew, knowing that I'm a Titans fan and we got we got Junior over here, we got Danny Provolone, the Bears fans over here. They had to, You guys didn't, they let, had, me, you didn't let me announce no, the matchup. They had Titans. <laughs> Bears. Titans. Titans, Bears, Sunday. I mean, this actually. They did it. You can keep going. What you're saying? No, I'm just saying they just did it for us. Oh, That's okay. the reason why they did. They it. did it 100. Uh, percent Junior's got the claw. He picks the Bears every single week, even when they are dog shit terrible. Rain or shine, uh, baby. They should be pretty good. Don't this you year. dare do that, Pete. <laughs> Don't you dare do that, Pete. Don't Bear. claw down. Don't uh, you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> um, this is a really good matchup. Two young upside quarterbacks. Ooh. Everyone's watching them. They both got running backs in there. They got a running game. Both got you know offense lines that need to get a little better, but I think the Bears offense line should be a little better than the Titans. But uh, and then the receivers, they both got them. They added to the receiver group. Defense, these are both stout physical stout. defenses. The way the Bears ended last year, Jalen Johnson, one of the best corners in football. Legarius Sneed, one of the best corners in football. The Titans add him. They add a bunch of guys in the secondary. They add Ernest Jones. I think that my favorite part about the Titans defense is Devondre Sweat with Jeffrey Simmons up front. Both these teams might be this this might be a battle between the two best teams at stopping the run, which is even though it's a passing league, it's very important uh, to stop the run and it can help you win big time football. It's an even battle to me. I think people are sleeping maybe on both teams. I think people are sleeping on the Titans. I think it's an even battle. I'm excited for it. I mean, Caleb's a better QB than Pete all day. <clears throat> than Pete, Pete all day. <laughs> I'm, oh, this is tough. It's in Sloppy Soldier. It makes it tough. Sloppy. This is uh, it is a tough one. When the schedule came out, I was like, this might be an offensive game because they're not they're tough. These offenses might be tough to game plan for because you don't really know. It's new. They're both new. Brian Callahan, Waldron coaching the Bears offense. Caleb Williams. You know, a lot of new faces. Both sides. It's tough to game plan for, but now I'm thinking this is going to be all defense. I think they're they're on the script. These offenses might come out hot, and then they're going to be shut down. These are two really good defenses that are going to stop the run very well. Both really good defensive coaches. Ah, it's going to be about 
to me, actually, it's, it's going to be about who runs the ball better, I think, at the end of the day. I'm going to go with the upsets, one of my upsets. I'm going to go with the Titans. No. It's in Let's Chicago, go. though. That's a tough place to play. It's tough. I, I'm i just obsessed with the Titans interior D-line, Simmons and Tavondre Sweat. I was the biggest Tavondre Sweat guy. Um, and he, maybe he's not going to be great right away, but he's going to swallow blockers. He's going to open things up for Jeffrey Simmons. They're going to be hard to run the ball against. But, yeah, and I'm thinking it's it's about who makes that extra play. Caleb Williams with his legs you know, in his arm can make that extra play. Uh, I think Denard Wilson, he's a really good defensive mind. I think he's going to have something up his sleeve for that net, uh, a rookie quarterback led at Bears offense. I'm feeling the Titans. This is, uh, to me, this is the hardest game to pick of the week. I'd probably say that again. and That's probably not the last time I say it today. Squeaker? Um, I don't know. I didn't say it. You said it before me, so I don't know. Is Pete going with his team? Go on my team. I'm, wow. I'm real excited. The about, Bears are favored by four and a half. No, so I know. I'm real excited about. Uh, the I Titans. still don't know. I still don't. Um, I still don't. I don't know. Maybe I, I guess I the Titans I know, one two I know punch I'm biased, running back. But you understand this as well. Like you're already saying it. Like I just think there's like a lot of new additions make it scary. Are they gonna gel? <laughs> like that's yeah. the big thing. Are they thing. gelling? That's the big thing. The one thing I, I do worry about is like their pass rush, but I know they're gonna be blitzing heavy and. It's going to be like the Ravens. Like, there's going to be sacks kind of split all over the place. There's going to be, like, DBs getting sacks. There's going to be linebackers getting sacks. Ernest Jones was the best pass rushing inside linebacker they just traded for. Um, Kenneth Murray flies around. You were just talking about Tavondre Sweat and Simmons. They're both going to get have to get double teamed. That leaves Murray and, and Ernest Jones to fly around through holes and make plays. So, um, I, I like what they're doing. And, obviously, the secondary got, got a major upgrade. The secondary was our weakness. Um, that's going to be the battle. It's going to be like the Titans secondary versus the Bears receivers and then the Titans receivers versus the Bears secondary. Ha- that's gonna what I was going to ask you. Is DeAndre Hopkins going to play? Hopkins, I think, is going to play. All right. If he's not playing, I think I'm going to go Bears. Uh, what's with Keenan Allen? I feel like he, he's playing. I know, but he well, he's like he's dealing with something right now, but I know he's playing. But everyone, he seems out of shape and he couldn't get open in practice. Is, is it? Are you concerned? No. No? Okay. No, it's sounds chunky, like it's a chunky dune, boy season. Sounds like right. a Dunze is number two over there, though. Yeah. Um. It's gonna Which be is a, fine. I mean, he's, uh, we love Roman Dunze over here. I mean, Keenan as your three is kind of a dangerous. Uh, that is yeah, nice. It's a dangerous place. Titans to be. got three of them. Too. Yeah, I mean, they. Uh, I think you got to stay away from Jalen Johnson. I, I maybe I'm basing too much off of uh, Hard Knocks, and, or I don't know. Jalen Johnson looks like he might have taken his game up even more. Like him, the, him yeah. just him, even in preseason and how he finished at the end of last year. But him in one on ones just insane. Well, if you saw uh, Sneed. On the pod, on that podcast, who was it? A uh, bunch of former NFL players, Fred Taylor on there, and all those guys, and they're asking about like Diggs. I guess Diggs wanted to go to the AFC South because he wanted to play Sneed twice a year, and Sneed was like, "I'm not worried about, not worried about that guy." I just wow. love his confidence. I love Sneed's confidence, but I know like you know the Bears receivers are going to win reps, the Titans DBs are going to win reps, and it's going to be the same thing. I, flipped. It's going to be a battle. I think watch out for the Titans defense. I think they're going to blitz the shit out of teams and they can afford to pass blitz because the interior D-line could stop the run themselves, basically. So I think the Bears are going to be winning. I think Yeller is going with the Titans. This is like, he is. And Larry's going with the wow. Titans. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, this is a shocker. This is a shocker. Most people, no, it is because most people on the planet are picking the Bears. They're favored by four and a half. So this is... This is something different here. So that's it. Every game, every single game, not even the Bills, Cardinals, even the the Bengals, Patriots, which we haven't got to yet. Any game could go either way in Week One. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Anything else? This Junior, week? give one up on us here. Thank you. I think I think the Titans are going to put together like a like a game winning field goal or drive, whatever it is. It's going to be that close at the end. Squeak- I got a very. Bad your, bad is it your squeaker? This is my squeaker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got one here on you guys, but you're gonna get one back on me because I got a bad upset I'm taking. Oh, we might, we all, we all might be on the same page. <laughs> no, it's a bad one. Oh, Ooh. oh, I'm picking the Patriots. Oh uh, no, that that'd be a bad one. That'd be very. I'm bad. gonna go. With, well, here's the thing. I'm gonna go with the Bengals. I'm gonna go with the Bengals. We're all going with the Bengals. Larry's taking the Bengals. <laughs> he's like, he's like, let me get there. You all can right. go in your thing. All right, here's the thing though. The what if ba- Drake May was playing? Still taking the Bengals. I would take the Bengals, but it's a little scary, though, because because the Bengals, if you noticed, the last quite you know, quite a few years, the Bengals always start awful. They do. E- even when they're healthy, they are they start so bad. And the Patriots might have a decent defense, so that offense is probably going to be atrocious, though. 
another word of the day, atrocious. Mm. Um, so they're not going to be gelling on offense. So everybody for the Bengals, you're right. We got the notes. Yeah. Everyone's taking the Bengals here. Do they start hot? Let me look is, at my notes. Uh, is Jamar Chase out there? That's a question. You guys still taking the Bengals even if he's not out there? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Joe Burrow, been starting seasons like shit. You know, does he play better? Playing a good def- good defense. I, I didn't know he'd be all right. But um, – it could be closer than you think. I think the line's like nine. Again, the uh, against the spread picks will be uh, the next video, but I think it's nine. That might be too much for a week one game, but at the same time, I don't know how much the Patriots are scoring. They might come out here and score less than ten points. So, you know, could they be sneaky? We'll see. I don't know. Uh, next, we got the Texans Ooh. and Colts, a division battle. They, the last game of the regular season was an interesting battle. The Texans squeaked by and – pulled it off and made the playoffs, won the division. Uh, I think this could be a week one trap game. I think we all look at these teams and say the Texans are definitely better on paper and they, they should be better, should be getting better uh, you know, as they go along. But I could see it being a trap game in Indy. The Texans, uh, you know, they struggle a little bit with the Colts last year, even though they beat them the last time. So I can definitely see the Colts winning. But Anthony Richardson still, I mean, we'll see what what happens in week one. He still looks like a little bit of work in progress. He's going to have big highs, you know, high highs, low lows. I'm going to trust the Texans to be a little more consistent, but I can definitely see the Colts winning this game. I can't. Uh, I'm taking the Texans. <laughs> okay. Uh, just to be frank with you. Um, I think it's a better club. Yeah. Better ball club? Better I ball club. The better weakness for pizza? the Colts is the secondary. Papa and- John's? Texans got a lot better there. You got Tank Dell coming back healthy. You got Diggs added in there. Nico Collins. That's yeah. Dalton Schultz. I yeah. mean, it's that's my CJ it, Stroud. I'm usually a matchup guy. A little bit more as the season goes on. But, but the Colts did draft the best defensive player in the draft, according to their GM. Uh, yeah, I mean, Lotu should be pretty good. But uh, <laughs> looking at the matchup, Texans' strength, what everyone's talking about, is the loaded receivers, including Schultz, the tight end. And the Colts are really weak in the secondary right now. So is that going to be exposed? Is that going to be a problem? But I could still see the Colts running. That's the thing. The, the Texans' weak spot, I think, is the interior D line. The Colts could run the ball very, very well with their quarterback, Richard Anthony Richardson, and with Jonathan Taylor, who's going to be a little more fresh this year, obviously. Um, so they both have – it's an interesting matchup. That They both have, like, big matchup favors. So we'll see how that plays out on game day. Yeller going with the Texans. Yes, but Larry's got the Colts. Ooh, he's lone, lone Larry, Colton. lone legging it. I don't know. Uh, I don't, I know, don't know. know. I don't know. What I'm trying to say, but um, he's by himself. He had the highest score in the uh, the the prize league last year, and again, the best score from each week will and be in this the, video taking his spot. Titans. Link in the comments for that. <laughs> Stop. Stop. He did pick the Titans. Stop. He did. That's a tough one to pick, man. That's, <laughs> we'll go back. You can go back to it? Yeah, I think you should go back to no. it. No. Uh, Jaguars, Dolphins, Florida battle in Miami. I was going to say, the Dolphins have an insane home field advantage, but they're both from Florida. But <laughs> it's still an insane home field advantage because of where the sun sits and they're in the shade. And Mr. 305's from there. Give me oh the Dolphins. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's easy peasy. <laughs> you convinced me, man, with the 305 shit. Yeah. What? I think the key for the Jaguars in I'll this game. Finish, let me finish. I'll oh, you, okay. I still think it's. Oh, I already said that. I still think it's a big home field advantage. The Dolphins start the season hot. They're explosive. They're fast. They're tough to game plan for. Tough to deal with. I do worry about their offensive line a little bit. They are a little beat up at the edge spot, but and I do think the Jags will be better than what people are saying, and this could be a good game. But uh, uh, Miami in Miami, give me the Dolphins. Yeah, I was gonna say. The the way the Jags win here is they gotta get it? ETN going here. I think that's the key for them. Uh, but I'm gonna take the Dolphins okay. at home. Put you right on the Dolphin. Uh, what's Yeller got? We got Dolphins and Dolphins. Oh, there. I guarantee this game could go either way. Really, I mean, I was I, I didn't hesitate on this one though. In Miami, if it was in Jacksonville, I'd be like, this is tough. This is tough. So. Tough sledding. Tua looks different. You guys see Tua? It looks a little different. You think he's uh. How he got we, paid. He got paid. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's trauma. 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 Yeah, the guy has more concussions than uh, – He was good last year. He was good. I know. He cleared. I know. I'm not saying he wasn't. I know. He cleared the season. I'm not saying like, talent-wise. I he don't was. really know if that's him anymore. You don't know? You think it's someone else? Definitely someone Conspiracy. else. Conspiracy. Who is yeah. it? I don't know. <laughs> He's not there. The lights are on, but nobody's home. 
Okay. <laughs> it's interesting takes. I don't know what to how to respond to these. Yeah, you just go to the next one. Dolphins fancy let them know in the comments. They'll be like, what the hell is that guy talking about? Anybody new is going to be like, who is this? Who is this guy? Smartest talking about man. Costco. Panthers, Ooh. Saints. I got a problem with this one, guys. I got a problem. What's the problem? All off season, since this was on the schedule, I was picking the Panthers. Panthers, Panthers, upset. Dave Canales, Bryce Young going to play better. They're going to be tougher to game plan for in the Saints, which still could be true. But now we get to game week. In New Orleans, uh, the, the Panthers are scrambling for corners right now. I know J.C. Horn's healthy. That's a reason to pick them because he's one of the better corners in football when he's healthy. Speaking of corners, though, the Saints are loaded at the position. Uh, and D.J. Wanham's out. They, they're thin on edge rush. They have Clowney out there, and that's it. I think it's going to be a defensive game. I'm going to hate myself when the Panthers win because I had them all offseason, but – in New Orleans, I'm going to trust the Saints. The, de- the difference is defense. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I'm going to take the better defense. It's the Saints. But uh, the Panthers do have a pretty decent defense. J.C. Horn out there. Derek Brown's a star. Not a whole lot. I mean, of course, they got other guys that can play, but not a whole lot after that. Worried about you know, the Saints' offensive line and, and Derek Carr, though, as well. I think they'll be able to run the ball effectively. I mean the difference. The Saints' defense is better, and they'll be able to run the ball Fairly well. Is this your one here? Do you just look at the this is a sign from the gods, all right? If you look at the abbreviation for each team, it says car no. So I'm taking car the Panthers oh! here. I'm taking the Panthers. That was good. That was Upset good. alert. Car. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, they just thought about who the heck is this guy. Now they know. I thought, now, are they like, oh, this fucking guy is I thought <laughs> when we were talking about upsets, I thought we were all going to be on the same page. You were on You were on the same page here, him? but he switched. I'm going with the Panthers as well. Oh, man. I think the Saints are – I'm sorry, Saints. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I think the Saints – you guys are looking – it's going to be a bad season. <laughs> it's not going to be fun. I don't know. They should have made a change. They should have made a coaching change. They should have made a GM change because they're just they just keep burying themselves. Um, they they need a complete reset over there. They're afraid to get better. They, they, still, out they still have Taysom Hill on the roster. I'm like, growing come on. confidence come on that the now. Panthers are going to win because I'm switching my pick to <laughs> switch my pick. Uh, Yeller. What else we got here? I'm trying to find in my notes. We got Saints and Saints here, so you're not alone. It's just Junior and I. Let's do it, Pete. Let's go. It's a tough one. Car, no. I thought I was, this is where I was supposed to get Car, that no. Bears one back. Oh, no. Let's, let's go. Yeah, we're good. The Saints defense is doing it for me, though. That's, a, that's I a do good. like the defense, but I do like Bryce Young. And, and the second year here, people are calling him a bust already. It's way too early for that. This guy's talented. They got more weapons around him, better coaching, better, better pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Papa John's. Second Papa John's reference today. Second you at home in case you had that on your bingo card. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a long season. <laughs> Good season. We're not even sponsored by Papa John's. Like, no. Oh shit! Look at the Giants The Vikings. Logo. The Giants are wearing those fugly jerseys. Oh, uh, for that reason, I'm taking the Vikings. <laughs> those things are awful. Those things are just terrible. And but I do worry about Malik Neighbors going bonkers. He might go game. bonkers in this game. Um, uh, but. Danny Dimes, you know, we're, we're banking on some turnovers. Uh, Brian Flores getting after him. The Giants are going to dink and dunk. That's their only chance this game. Brian Flores is going to blitz the shit out of them. They're going to fluster. Fluster? Is that a good word? Yeah, that's a good word. Daniel Jones, low-scoring game. And that's the difference to me. I think the Vikings confusing defense, uh, you know, with the heavy blitz and no more Saquon for the Giants. That's, a, that's the difference. and. We'll take we'll take the Vikings. Aaron Jones. The they Vikings, got motor. They got motor. Vikings got a running game this year, but as long as it's healthy, so far it is. So I mean, I think Jones can have a pretty solid game, but I do like the Giants' defensive line. I'll take the Vikings. I'm just not trusting Daniel Jones. Here. I'm gonna trust Darnold more than Jones. I'm taking the Giants. He's I mean, taking I'm the Giants. Taking them. I didn't think this was gonna be an upset of mine, just because I this is gonna be this is my squeaker of the week. Squeaker. Uh, I think it's gonna be very close. Low scoring. Uh, but the Giants at home, I think, gives them that edge, especially that turf no one really likes to play on. I'm taking That's the true. Giants. And their ugly jerseys. All right, Yeller going with the Vikings? Yep, and so was Larry. Lone Jr. Lone Let's Jr. Go. there. Lone Jr. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. All right. We got no bye week, so we 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 got a lot of, I lot can't of games. Wait for the a lot of weeks. games on the on the slate here. A lot of games on the slate, folks. Uh, we we got we, oh, this is just division a battle. division rival battle. Is this the worst division in football? It might be. 
fifty fifty game to me. Raiders, Chargers. Chargers got Harbaugh in there. Yeah, Jesus no. Carey. No. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Raiders. Give me Minshew. I'm mm-hmm. feeling it. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Pete taking the Raiders. I'm feeling the I'm feeling the Raiders. Junior's um, taking the Raiders. You know, Herbert's kind of questionable. Um, I just worry about their receivers too. Like they just have no weapons over in LA anymore. Um, and that defense too. Like what they I was looking at their defense. They got Elijah Bolden. They got Christian Fulton. They got Tier Tart, and they got Bud Dupree. They got a bunch of Titan old Titans players that. We don't even want on our team anymore. <laughs> mm. I worry about that team over there. I don't know. People uh, are hyping him up. Yeller? Um, he's got the Raiders. Oh, man. What's Larry's the got the Chargers. Oh, I thought I was going to be by myself. You feel good, though. You got the you got the champ over there with you. Yeah. I'm taking the Chargers. I know everyone's – and I do worry about the run defense of the Chargers. The interior de- defensive line is pretty brutal. I mean, the linebackers may be a little questionable. And then, but people worry about the receivers, and yeah, you wish the receivers were better. But they have a great quarterback, Justin Herbert, who also has a great offensive line. This offensive line should be really good, and now he actually has a coach as well. So this game is always a battle; could go either way. Who are they running the ball to? And they got a collection of backs. No one's great, but Gus. I mean, Dobbins is good if he's healthy. Right now, he's healthy. Gus Bus. I'll take I'll take the far better quarterback in this game. But Max Crosby could be a problem. Didn't you? Yeah. I think Minshew, the Colts Minshew is going to be better than the Raiders Minshew, so I don't know. He's got Devontae. He's got better, yeah, maybe. It's just a different system. I think he fit that Steichen system perfectly. I like the Chargers in this one. That's a good old-fashioned split right there. Good old-fashioned split. That's how we like it. That's how we like like it. it. That's how the fans like it, too. Mm. Uh, here we go. Ooh, here we whoa. go. Broncos, Seahawks. Go. Bo Nix looked pretty damn good in preseason, and they're going to be dinking. They're going to be dunking. It's, yeah, a, they are. it's a pain in the ass to stop, let me tell you, and especially early in the season. It's one of those types of offenses that dominate early in the year. Then teams figure out, all right, stack the box, guys, and let's figure this out. So I do think it just tells me the Broncos could be one of those teams that start really hot and everyone's going to jump on the bandwagon and they're probably going to blow it. But – I don't love the matchup for them. I think Mike McDonald's one of the best defensive coordinators in football coming from the Ravens. And I think and he has he has lots of young talent, really good young talent. They're used to playing against the dink and dunk in college. They got it everywhere. I think he's gonna have a master game plan. I think the Seahawks are probably one of the tougher teams to game plan for early in the year. They hired Ryan Grubb from Washington, not the Commanders, the Huskies. There's going to be a lot of different looks, some spread looks. I, it's tough game plan. Like, they're going to look like a college offense at times. It's like you just don't know what to expect. They can spread out those big-time receivers. I still believe in Geno. Is he going to be great? No, but he's, I think he'll play, play better than he did last year. They have running backs. Their offensive line got better. They're going to be a pain in the ass to deal with early on. I think the Broncos will be too, but uh, I'm going to take the Seahawks in that one. I'm taking the Seahawks too. Um, unpopular opinion, I think, but the Broncos, New Jerseys, they, they stink. I don't really love them. I, I like the like I like the throwbacks that they'll be wearing. There's a lot of New Jerseys that I'm not really a fan yeah, of. Yeah, I, I love I the Lions. I'm not. A, oh, I do love the Lions. The Lions I'm not nice. a fan of the Texans jerseys, really. Either. I thought I was, and I saw yeah. them on the field. I mean, I, I didn't like, like their other jerseys either. I don't know. I just. I don't know. They could they're... easily fix them, like these stripes that are on the sleeve. Yeah. I don't like when they come to a point because yeah. then they look very round and it looks stupid. If they were just squared off lines. Yeah. Lines, they look the Broncos just went with their throwbacks. The Seahawks need to wear their yeah. throwbacks just went more. With their throwbacks as their Both these teams jerseys, need to yeah. wear their throwbacks in this game because, yeah. I like sick. the Seahawks too, like you were already saying. I think, I mean, that their corners, like that, the duo of corners there might be might be the best in football there. I, I don't know. I, I, I think Woolen's going to have a really good year this year, and, I, and Witherspoon is going to be really good too. So I think it's going to give – I think – Bo Nix preseason saw a lot of just basic defenses. He's going to see a lot more than a basic defense in this first game, so it's, it might be tough for him. Yeah, I don't love the matchup. It's like one of the defensive coordinators that's going to yeah. mess with him. Uh, Yeller's got the Seahawks, and Larry's got the Broncos over wow. here. Woo-hoo. Woo! How did he Woo! win the league? Woo! <laughs> He's gonna do. He's gonna do it again. No. He's going for the back to back. Going crazy here. He Larry's goes wild. He goes crazy, man. He goes uh, crazy. Who's more wild, the Costco guys or Larry? Ooh. I'd say Larry for sure. Oh. You think the Costco guys are just normal people? Yeah, I mean, I think they are. Okay. The whole thing is Costco. This game is weird to me. <laughs> Commanders and Bucks. This is just weird. Uh, this is another one of those upsets I can see. 
Tough to Jaden team. Daniels. Tough to man. Kingsbury's Cardinals teams always started off super hot because they were tough to game plan for. Now they have Jaden Daniels running around, and you know Dan Quinn's gonna have a, his defense playing well. I could totally see it. This is one I've been thinking about a lot. My my thing is the Bucks receivers. I think the Bucks got too much talent at receiver. I don't know how the Commanders and the Commanders again. Quinn should have the defense playing well, but how are the corners? And the defense, I know the interior defense line is actually one of the best football, but and how are the pass rushers? I think Baker will have some time to get it to his star receivers that should be open, and they got a good running back duo that I'm excited about. Young running back duo I'm excited about, Rashad White and Bucky Irving. So it's Bucky. I'm gonna pick the Bucks, but this is like <sighs> Bucky's on the Bucks. This is this is one of those week one like prime week yeah, one upsets. This is a weird one. Like tough to game plan for a team wins it. Well, you can see like Jaden Daniels just going bonkers in his debut, just like yeah, just it's a completely different team. Like you have yeah. no idea what to expect. I'm just, taking Washington. You're taking Washington. I'm, taking All right. I'm just worried about receivers for the Commanders. They, I mean, I know Dotson wasn't showing a lot, but they got rid of him. It's McLaurin and I don't know. <laughs> uh, Deami Brown, McCaffrey. Yeah, it's not Noah very. Brown. It's not very good. Not very good. Give me the Bucks here. Um, yeah, I mean, they got rid of Montez Sweat last year and Chase Young. I, I mean, think yeah. Winfield gets a turnover for the win. I'm going to call that. Ooh. Winfield creates a turnover for the win against a rookie quarterback. That's a good game, though. That's one I can go either way. We got bucks and bucks on my on my notes here. Yeller's not a big commander's guy. He thinks they're going to be really bad this year. Uh, maybe. Uh, Larry's, you said bucks? All right. He's a big Baker guy, though. He is a big big Lone Jr. again. Wow. Again. You like those NFC East teams. Giants. NFC Beast. Commanders. Yeah. I'm all in. I'm all Costco in. Guys. All right. Oh, this is good. This oh, is good. Game. Cowboys, Browns in Cleveland. What Cowboys are we going to get? Give me the boys. He's taking the boys. Dude. They're usually good in the regular season. They Deron are. Bland's out for a while. They're away, though. They usually play good at home. Mm, yeah, I'm yeah gonna, give me the boys. I'm I'm gonna take the Browns. Uh, Deron Bland being out, Cleveland at home. Watson's fresh, solid defense. Fresh, <laughs> he's fresh. He's plenty not hurt. Of, plenty of massages <laughs> over the off season. That's what I was. You didn't have to say it. You didn't have to say it. All right. We didn't need to tell the people exactly what I was getting at. He's a criminal. Uh, fresh. Do they, is there a massage area in Costco? Probably. They got everything. They got everything yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Browns in a in a toss-up. Yeah, squeaker? This is, this is, this I didn't is, pick uh, a squeaker. I blew my chances. I don't, this could be an ass beat either could be an ass beat either way. A, I know. It could this, be this either is way. a really good game. Like, I love the Browns team on paper. I just worry about the quarterback, honestly. The defense is, is pretty nice, though. And I don't know. I'm not a big Jerry Judy guy, though. That's, that's the thing. Like, you're – you're saying Bland's out, true, but Stefanski versus Zimmer. Ooh, Zimmer. I think who's more predictable? Maybe Zimmer. Stefanski switched up his 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 scheme a little bit. They lost. They lost uh, Bill Callahan over there. They did. Uh, give me the Cowboys. I'm gonna trust the boys in the opener here. Um, C. Lamb got paid. He's ready to go. That's that's a tough one. That's Yeller's tough. got the Browns here. Yeller has the got the Browns. dogs. Mm. And then uh, Larry's got the Cowboys. Got Good the boys. split. The Browns still got that elf on the field. Probably. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a good one. That's yeah, a good one. They, you notice they switched their helmet, their logo a little bit, a little more white in there. I like it. Okay, he likes it. That's <laughs> I think a they tough have one. they have the that face mask now. Yeah, they what, changed what the face used mask. to be. Uh, I would hope it matches the. Well, I know it used to be like a. I think it was like grayish, like that, like you know, like uh, you know, like some teams just have like that gray, like generic face mask, mm. like that's what it was. Now it's white, pops a little bit more. Pop. What do we got here? That's that we we did it. We, we did, did it for that game. We did. Oh. It. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday night. Not, I keep oh. leaving myself up there, and I, I'm go, I'm gonna go with the Lions on Sunday night football. I picked the Rams in the playoff game. That was wrong. I thought the Rams kind of got screwed by the Rams. That's besides the point in that game. They, they did enough to win, but so did the Lions. But the Lions at home, Rams a little beat up on the offense line, and they'll be okay, but the, they, the defense is worse. No Aaron Donald. They traded Ernest Jones. 
They'll find ways. I love how explosive the offense is. This is, I mean, week one, the Lions will be prepared. They're going to be physical. They're going to be fast. It's a really good roster that's always getting better. I'm feeling the Lions at home on Sunday Night Football. Taking the Lions with you here. I think that I was going to go with the home team. I think I already call the squeaker of the week, but I think that this has potential to be a squeaker of the week as well. High scoring squeaker of the week. It's going to be a good one on Sunday night. Yep. Can't wait. Um, taking the Lions at home too. Uh, those fresh jerseys they got. Little little changes there. Going throwback. Love it. Um, that's weird. Like I picked the Rams too. Like I think we we're just picking the which team was hotter at the moment. We thought the Rams going in close one. Now now when I think about, it, I just think like I don't know. I just feel feel this is one of the one of the ones I feel more confident about picking actually. Yeller. Uh, he's got the Lions. And so does Larry. Wow. Got, I was going to say, tell me Larry's got the Rams and he's, he's out of here. He's I mean, here. Rams are – it's too good of a team to have no one pick them, though, you know. But I understand it. In Detroit, prime time Sunday night, you know they'll be prepared, ready. They were ready for the Chiefs in week one last mm-hmm. year. But it should be a really entertaining, fun game, obviously. Some explosive offenses for sure. Maybe some explosive diarrhea in the crowd. You never know. <laughs> I don't know. It's Detroit. But How, but, how's but, that going for you, by the way? Uh, I've been doing great in the bathroom. You've been doing that's, great in the bathroom. Good, I have been. It's it. good to hear. That's a good uh, – put that on a shirt. That's not even – <laughs> the older you get, the, the better shirt. you want to be doing in the bathroom. Yeah, because last year, I just remember the picks videos, you were always commenting how rough your bathroom <laughs> right. breaks that's were. Right. I've been doing great. I haven't great. missed a day in the last three months. Maybe it's, maybe it's the Julian Michaels workouts. Maybe that's going hand-in-hand. Hand, 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 hand the eggs and oats, you know. Well, like, the oats don't happen until after the poop. I don't eat before the poop. Oh, Okay. What are you pooping? When? But I mean, that, no. What do you? What do you? But pooping? that like that like, that's like the thing that goes in first, though. No, actually, key like, goes you're, in first. Because you're because you're cleaned out when you when you take that in. That's true. Yeah. So. Yep. Maybe I'm, that's the key. Yep. Like you clean it out, and then you get the eggs and oats in there. Right. That's the good base <laughs> layer. Really set the tone for the day. Set the tone. And then everything uh, else. Yeah. Sorry. What, we're just going. Let's go to the next one. We well, okay. The- oh, Monday Night Football. The Jets at the Niners. Aaron Rodgers is back. Can he stay can healthy? He, can, he, can he play more than four plays this year? Let's see. We'll find out. I sure hope so. On everyone. I hope so too. I'm wishing all the players. Extreme health. I don't know what else. Yeah, doing. I was like, "Where are you going? Why would you stop?" A great bathroom. Uh, how'd you put it? You're, you're, you're. I'm just doing great in the you bathroom. Do, I wish everyone does great in the bathroom. I wish they do great in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> all year, all year, all year. <laughs> uh, what are you guys going with? Give me those Niners at home. Pete's taking the Niners at They're home. They're healthy. You know, they're always there's always something happening with those Niners. Dude. But Trent, Trent Williams, Williams is holding out. Is holding out. I'm hoping he just decides to suit up. Come you on. know him. He ain't going to do that. Give me the Jets. Oh. oh. Was it that? It's not that bold. A little, little bit. Yeller. He's got the Niners, and so does Larry. Larry's got the Niners. Uh, I, I'm going to lock this in since that's my last, one, my last chance. I'm locking this in as my squeaker of the week. No I think snot it's, poundings. No, not this week. I not looked him looked through. I didn't see any snots. Uh, but defensive game in this one. Defensive game. Gonna be a battle. Trent Williams? Is he not gonna play? That's a big deciding factor for me. I, I, he's still holding out. I'm gonna go with Junior over there. I'm going with the Jets. I, I think that they'll find a way on offense to make it that extra play. I mean, they got to stop McCaffrey first, though. That's that's the thing. Not worried about the pass defense of the Jets at all. I think they're gonna get after Brock Purdy. I think that that pass rush is gonna be really solid, especially if Trent Williams is not out there. And I think they'll make that. Brees Hall makes that extra play here in this one defensive battle, which defense will be better. It is tough going against the Niners in prime time at home in the regular season. Very, very tough. And I was planning on picking the Niners the whole way, but Trent Williams being out and then, you know, I just have, and the Jets won in prime time when Aaron Rodgers went down last year against the Bills. So they'll be ready. They'll be ready to roll. They're more talented this year. They had Tyrone Smith talent on both sides of the ball. I'm feeling the Jets this one. So me and Junior over there, good old-fashioned split on this one. A lot of good splits. Be a good one. A lot of good splits. A lot of a lot of games. That's just week one does it to me. It's always those upsets. A lot, a lot of games. I'm they're up in the air for me right now, and it's yeah, it's it's just gonna be. Can't it's wait back. for. It's back. Just can't wait. Just can't I wait love for Scott football. Hansen at, at noon. What'd you say? I love football. <laughs> the way you said. It. I love football. <laughs> I'm just having a great time. He's having a great time. Bears are winning every game this year. Not right? even close. Not yeah. even close. <laughs> 
We're all wrong on week one, then. My snot pounding is Bears tight. Oh. Yeah. No, you're too late. We passed it. I'm still calm. No, you can't go back. You, the claw? Pete, if you do that again, Pete, I'm so surprised there hasn't been any this. memes about uh, like the claw from Liar Liar, the movie, and then in that. The claw. Yeah. He's a Jim Carrey Bears fan. Is he? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Okay. <laughs> Just up shit. Are you Make sure? It? Yeah. <laughs> really? I was honest. I said no. Any more sure. zingers for us? I'm all in on the Costco guys again. Okay. Oh, okay. We yeah. should do that. <laughs> I just can't wait till we have buy teams. So we got Pete rolling on the. What are we doing this year? Though? It always is something different. But I like. I really liked like last tears. year's. I liked last year's. Something. We'll, we'll come. We'll cook something up. We'll have, we'll have Pete go through the buy teams, and he can do what the Costco guys do, and it's either boom or doom. You know how they do that? Have, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, what, really I don't know what you're talking guys, about. Guys, I'm right all now. in on them. I, I don't watch all, all the that. videos. I don't know what you're talking about, so I'm going to have to go watch this. Do, you, do your research. Have, yeah. You just didn't do your research. You had all off season to prepare for week yeah, one. I, mean, picks. I got better. I, you know, I. You didn't do Jillian Michaels, and you don't watch the Costco guys. That's right. Got I mean, better. The team, the, we improved. and. Who, your team? <laughs> Pete, Will Levis sucks. Oh, man. You're just hating. <laughs> just hating. It's not. It's a little clean, good, clean family I just, fun. I, you know what? We're gonna throw this out there right now. I know I'm Titans guy, and I'm gonna hit on division rivals. But like, I don't understand why Anthony Richardson just gets praised, and he's like number four fantasy quarterback when he like he hasn't done anything he's yet. An alien. Will, but Will Levis is like ranked like 29th quarterback in the league by everybody, and like has shown. I think he's shown more than Anthony Richardson. I just don't. I just don't understand it. I mean, I don't get it. Why are the Titans? Getting hate, hate right now. I don't know, Pete. I don't know. I don't get it. All right. Every Tuesday going forward, we'll be back here picking every single game. Make sure to join that Picks League before it's too late. Link down in the comments. Subscribe. Turn notifications on. Power rankings are already up. Score predictions next. We got loads of content. Happy loads. Labor Day. Happy Labor Happy Day. Happy Labor Day. Is that it? I think that's all I got. That'll do it. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks for coming back and joining us this football season. What about the new people? Thanks for joining us. Thanks for showing Welcome. up. Welcome. We love you. Long. <laughs> we love. We love you, long time. <laughs> I stopped myself and Pete. All right. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>